Good morning. <laughs> I'm not setting up an opposition. I have my outside church there by the canal. See the church, bells ring. Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy laden, all those are Christ's words. So I'm just it's the same thing. So anyway, have a, an Old Testament. Um, <coughs> Water from the rock. The whole Israelite community set out from the desert of Sin, sort of the capital S, traveling from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses replied, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test? But the people were thirsty for water there, and they grumbled against Moses. They said, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and livestock die of the thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, What am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, walk on ahead of the people, take with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile, and go. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb, strike the rock, and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel, and called the place Massah and Meribah, because the Israelites quarreled, and because... They tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? Then we get Psalm, Psalm number one. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, prospers. Amen. And then there's a related one to this in Jeremiah. <coughs> but, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him, he will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Again, the New Testament. Now this, okay, was from the Radio 4 service at 8am this morning from the Basilica in Assisi. I love St. Francis of Assisi, San Francesco of Assisi. I've been there many times. I used to sleep on Monte Sabazio above, but I know Assisi. I love St. Francis. I know the place. I've stayed there. I've been around. I know the place. And they built this expressness of Basilica. Almost as soon as he died, because there's loads of money in St. Spence. Okay, it's just an express. Huge, great building. And of course, the tourists come something like six, seven million a year. Well, imagine the amount of money that pours into that place, which the big church knows and encourages. Doesn't have to, St. Francis. But the people, I sit on the square watching them. Whatever. No, I'm there. There's a, a Roman building there, so before Christ there was a building there in the season. I just want to get the sinners cut up and coming across here. And the faces are hard and thick and done as easy, right? We're off. Mm. I'm sleeping on the mountain up above. I love you, my Lord, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. 